how do we calculate the mean and the standard deviation of a discrete random variable? And here we're talking about uh, where we don't have a special formula for the mean or standard deviation like we do if we have a special discrete random variable like the binomial geometric or the Poisson distribution. Mean, another word for mean is the expected value. Mu represents the mean and x is our random variable. We are calculating the mean of the random variable x or the expected value of x. It is a discrete random variable so it has a finite or accountably infinite number of possible values for the random variable. In this particular problem we are saying that there are n different values, possible values for the random variable from xi up to xn, x1, x2, up to xn. And pi represents the probability that the random variable takes on that particular value. So in words, the expected value or the mean is equal to the sum of each possible value of the random variable times the probability of that value. The variance of the random variable indicated with sigma squared, and we're talking about the random variable x, is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n. You take each data value, xi, you subtract the mean of the random variable, which you calculate up here, you square that quantity, and then you multiply by the probability that the random variable takes on that particular value, xi. That's how you calculate the variance. And the standard deviation, represented by sigma, of the random variable x is just the square root of the variance. Let's calculate the mean and standard deviation for a discrete random variable. Suppose you are rolling two three-sided fair dice. If we let x be our random variable, which equals the sum of the dice, what is the mean or the expected value and the standard deviation of x? So the first thing we need to do is get our probability distribution function for our random variable x. To do this, let's list all possible rolls that we could get when rolling these two dice. We could roll a 1 and a 1. We could roll a 1 and a 2. Or we could roll a 1 and a 3. Or we could roll a 2 and a 1 or a 2 and a 2, or a 2 and a 3. Or we could roll a 3 and a 1, or a 3 and a 2, and a 3 and a 3. The sum with these rolls is a 2. The sum with these rolls is a 3. The sum here is 4. The sum is 5. And the sum is 6. These are the possible values for our random variable x. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 6. What is the probability that our sum equals 2? It is 1 out of 9. What's the probability that our sum equals 3? 2 out of 9. The probability that the sum equals 4 is 3 out of 9. The probability that the sum equals 5 is 2 out of 9, and the probability that the sum equals 6 is 1 ninth. So let's put that into our probability distribution function. Does the sum of all the probabilities over all possible values for the random variable add up to 1? 1 ninth plus 2 ninths is 3 ninths. 6 ninths. 8 ninths, 9 ninths. Yes, it does. So now that we have our probability distribution table for our random variable x, we can calculate the expected value or the mean. We have to add up over all possible values of the random variable. We have to multiply the particular value of the random variable times the probability that it occurs and do that for each of the possible values of x and then add them up. So we take our value, the random variable can be 2, and it can be a 2 with a probability of 1 ninth, plus the random variable can be 3 with probability of 2 ninths, plus the random variable can be a 4 with probability of 3 ninths, 
The random variable can be a five with probability of two ninths, and the random variable can be six with probability one ninth. We have to multiply these out and add it up. Multiplying and adding, we find that the expected value of our random variable x is equal to four. So in the long run, if we kept rolling two dice, write down the sum, roll the dice again, write down the sum, and do this many, 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 many times, and then average all of those numbers, the average would come out to be four. The expected or the long run average of the sum of two dice is equal to four. Now let's calculate the standard deviation for our random variable x. Let's do this through the variance. Let's calculate the variance. Once we have the variance, then we will take the square root to get the standard deviation. The formula for the variance of a random, discrete random variable is the sum over all possible values of the random variable, subtract the mean of the random variable, square that quantity, and then multiply by the probability that the random variable takes on that particular value, xi. So let's do it for this random variable. The first value that the random variable can take is two. The mean we found to be four. We square it and then we multiply it by the probability the random variable can be two is one ninth. Then we must add three minus four quantity squared times two ninths plus four minus four quantity squared times three ninths plus five minus four quantity squared times two ninths. And last we have six minus four quantity squared times one ninth. Simplifying each of these expressions and then adding them up, we find that the variance of the random variable is equal to four thirds. Now we are ready to take the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation. Taking the square root of four thirds, we see that the standard deviation of a random variable x is approximately 1.15. So the easiest way to calculate the mean or the standard deviation of a discrete random variable is to start with a probability distribution function as a table and use the formulas given here for the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation.